can we just go to China for a second? Because Richard it seems to me that that um, uh, Facebook particularly is fa is facing a key decision on China. I mean, you 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 are up to what 800 million users now, and uh, I think in order to double, you have to go into China. There just aren't enough web users in the world unless you go into China. So I presume there are uh, very clever people uh, back in the West Coast who are wrestling with this very issue at the moment. It, the key question here is presumably. To what extent are you prepared to give uh, the Chinese access to your platform controls uh, in order to get access to this huge market? Will you give the Chinese government, for instance, information on people's social connections when they come asking for it? And now for the easy questions. <laughs> uh, I mean, in a way, you've described this is the dilemma for every internet service. Um, so, so just to be clear where we are, we operate one service, Facebook.com. So unlike you know, the model that Rachel described, and a lot of other internet services will have a national domain. So they are effectively checking which landing stage you've used to arrive at the island before they decide whether or not to serve you. We've got Facebook.com. Anybody anywhere in the world is welcome to try and access it. Whether or not they can gain access will depend on things that happen in the network that they're using to connect. I mean, that's the reality. We in no way seek to limit any access to Facebook.com. Uh, there are certain governments, though, who will say, um, you know, I will only uh, encourage those access providers in my, my territory uh, to allow access to your service on certain conditions. Uh, and those, I mean, I mean, that's universal. Again, it's not unique to China. Um, the, you know, the, the scale or the degree or the demands that China may make may be exceptional. But the principle is essentially a common principle, that if you're operating in certain countries, the government wants lawful intercept capability. I mean, they insist on it. They want the rules, their specific local rules about content to be enforced. Um, so I say it's, it's different in degree, so, so but not Chinese, different in... Yeah, yeah, that, I, think that over, I think that over... What, what the Chinese want isn't just lawful intercept, although they want that. The, the censorship regime is relatively unique there in being very close to mm -hmm. real time. When the Arab Spring broke, they they didn't they, they they very quickly went to sign a Weibo among the other other services and said, take this out of trending topics. Mm. Don't censor it because if we censor it, people will know we're worried. But don't let anybody else see that everybody else is talking about it at the same time. And that they they weren't trying to shut down the conversation because that telegraphs weakness, but to completely desynchronize the population. That that kind of demand is separate from lawful intercept or... But, yeah, but to come back, so I, I fully accept the demands that they would make would be exceptional. But the decision is the same for any internet service. Google have been through this process. Right. Every, you know, <laughs> Skype this. have been through this process. Everyone's been through this process of, does one accept those particular requirements to go in? Now, we've not done anything. We're, we're at, you know, zero. Facebook.com is there. You can go, you can not go. There is no, there's no uh, agreement. There's no position. And, and, and there's nothing there. say to you... Uh, if you want to come and you want to set up a kind of corporate infrastructure in China and sell advertising and do all that stuff, then the price of that entry is going to be that when people are talking about the Uyghurs on, fa on, mm. on Facebook China or when they're talking about Tiananmen Square, we want to see their social graph. What do you say then? Uh, um, I mean, you're describing, you know, a kind of, I guess, a hypothetical situation based on other people's real experience that could happen to us but hasn't happened. Uh, um, so we, we, we have so no... So are you saying that, is, that, that would be an unacceptable condition I'm, for you? I'm saying I haven't even, we haven't you know, gone through that process. We're not there. If we were to be, be able, there, we would be have to, to express an opinion in principle. On, you, you, uh, no, I, I actually don't think you can. I think you can say, what you can say is in principle, you would have to go through that process of deciding whether or not the agreement to the deal you were offered so fundamentally... Uh, cut against what you were trying to offer as a service. You can tell who the politician is on it, this yeah. panel, and you've, you've <laughs> actually done this for a living. But this is all you can do. This is all you can do. I mean, can, can, I, can we get to it?